Hello and welcome to Elisha.Tech. My name is Eli and today I will be telling you about the goings on in the console underground from people running Breath of the Wild on their computer. Consoles being exploited within the first week of release to gaining the ability to purchase games legally directly from a Wii emulator. So we have a few interesting stories that happened within the last few weeks. With the Switch's release there have been people immediately coming out gate to break it with Pegaswitch by ReSwitch being released, along with a few other tools, in order to take advantage of the WebKit exploit found within the launch week of the Switch. So what does that mean for you and me? Right now, basically nothing, but it'll allow for developers to begin work on other stepping stones that will allow for homebrew applications in the future. Shout out to good guy Biker for at least trying to trick someone into thinking he made a Nintendo 64 emulator. This will likely help GBA temp user Simba on his quest to reverse engineer the Switch cartridge, on which he is making great progress, a thread for which I will put in the description so that you can follow along. In other news, Semu, a Wii U emulator's development, has been gaining massive amount of popularity since Breath of the Wild's release, causing the Patreon to shoot from around 6k a month to, as of this video's shooting, $21,000 a month. And with Breath of the Wild at very least booting on the latest Patreon released, the progress has been amazingly fast relative to most emulation projects, including the development of the powerhouse that is the Dolphin Wii emulator. Speaking of Dolphin, a recent update has allowed the ability to connect to the official Nintendo Wii shop and use it to download demos and even listen to the Wii shop music, which is probably the most important use for it. Presumably this would also allow you to purchase games legally on the Wii shop channel, but I'm not sure on the logistics of that. Well, that'll be everything for this video. My name is Elisha, and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you enjoy this type of content, I do ask that you leave a like and possibly even come subscribe because there's going to be more like it. Well, I also wanted to mention on a sort of channel level note, there is actually a Discord server for my YouTube channel now. So, if you're interested in socializing with uh, all the other fans, you know, there are fans, I, I, I promise you. The Discord is at least started up and populated, so I'll be leaving the link for that in the description. Thank you, and I hope you have a good day.